Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today I'm returning to Waterloo, Napoleon's Last Battle. This is part three of a live stream that I took from my Twitch channel uh, from a couple of weeks back now. Um, I didn't air all of this because it kind of got derailed by someone who went on a little bit of a of a bit uh, donation spree, uh, giving me a bunch of uh, donations to help the channel, which was nice, but it did kind of derail the stream toward the end. Uh, which is kind of the piece that you're going to be seeing now. But I've actually been out of town for the last few days and uh, have, have kind of run low on a little bit of footage and things like that. And I did want also to show the end of the Battle of Waterloo. I know I had showed you guys the first two parts. It seemed like there was a lot of enthusiasm and interest around it. So I figured, you know, while perhaps some of the drop-downs of the donation and some of the back and forth might not be entirely up to my standard... Uh, I, I did want to show what was left of the stream to kind of let you guys know what happened and what, what the conclusion of the battle was. So I do hope you guys enjoy the video that's coming up. Let me know your thoughts down below, as always, and I will catch you guys at the end. I should be back to sort of normal new recording and probably streaming here Friday evening, uh, Central Standard Time. So I will probably stream either a new game like Armored Commander 2 or Bombergeddon. Uh, on my Twitch channel, and then uploading uh, the videos from there thereafter on Saturday, Sunday, etc. Uh, I also do want to get back to uh, Strategic Command World War II World at War, and um, uh, War in the Pacific. I know that was my last video I posted on the 2nd. I've had that turn for about four days now. I haven't returned it yet to XGRG, again, because I was out of town. Um, but I will probably get that back to him today, so then we'll see that probably in three or four days uh, at, the, uh, at the latest. So with that being said, I'll jump back out, turn it back over to the stream, and I hope you guys enjoy. I believe that the enemy generals are up here. They're kind of rallying the enemy on our flank, which is going to be a challenge to deal with. Okay... So, I mean, the good news is we have the Hugamon. The bad news is for how much longer? It's a lot of redcoats committed here. I have to think he's committed the bulk of his good infantry. He's still got a bunch of troops over here to the right near Lahai Saint, which I may be setting myself up to get hit in the flank a little bit. So what we're going to do is we are going to activate these brigades, and if we see the enemy pull troops away from Lahai Saint to the left, we'll advance these brigades up the roadway. And hopefully that, that helps us. Alright, so our cavalry is in position. Our infantry is in position. The only thing that's not ready yet, I think, are the guns. But we're going to advance anyway. Don't worry, I'm sure this will go well. The infantry is going to take a while to get up there anyway. It's this brigade I'm worried about taking fire from the flank. Young Guard Division coming up in support. Actually, just... Actually, I've got this extra infantry division. I'm going to go ahead and move in this way. Just so we can threaten the Saint while we move forward. And we'll see. We'll see what happens here. You can see us preparing for the attack. Our troops are moving forward. We've got some of our artillery in position here. All right, Drew, move forward. Meanwhile, the British troops here on the left... They must have attacked us with cavalry there. I don't have a lot of cavalry left on my flank. Okay. 
Get out of the front line, you madman. This lead regiment up here was routed. Mid cavalry looks like it might be charging. They are, they've got their sabers raised. These troops are in square, which is problematic. Go ahead and charge. They've at least got good terrain. Bring the gods for it also. So the 15th Hussars. All right, gods, do your thing. Hopefully the enemy cohesion is broken. See, I, they never made contact. The enemy just rode right through them. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but they're still just... Where are they going? Oh, they're running away from the gods? They're trying to run away from the gods. Well, the gods are doing their work. Well, enemy cavalry just ran into our other flank over here. Soy's battalion regiment here was routed. Alright, so we routed that enemy cavalry that did damage to our line. But the gods did their job and they, they wrecked the British Hussars. Hey, Charcoal. You're going to play Quiplash? I'll probably be streaming for about another half hour, so. All right, more British Dragoons are on their way down here. They just want to send all their cavalry toward me. All right, there's one of the batteries gone. Why don't you just move up here? All right, so the Hugamon is still ours. Meanwhile, our infantry is advancing this way. Troops are taking flanking fire, which is not great. Bringing up the young guard here. guys are their cohesion is terrible look at all that British cavalry moving around here does their cohesion get better if I halt them a little bit I hear rockets. I think we've got the British rocket artillery in the way. Or on the way. Shit, they routed one of our regiments up here already. I can't just stay here under this, this artillery fire, but I need my cohesion to be a little bit better to make the attack. Alright, we're about a quarter of the way through the battle. It's almost 2 o'clock. The Prussians are probably going to start showing up soon. Okay... Meanwhile, the attack on the left is just a bloody fiasco. Is there any cavalry up this way? Where did the British all go? The problem is they're in Abatis, so I can't really use my cavalry effectively on the flank. Looks like the enemy horse are leaving the field over here. 
why are you doing that? Don't be, oh, you're routed, that's why. Well, that's fair. All right. Um, the Picardy Regiment's largely sitting things out here. All right, so I've got the Hugamal. I mean, like, <laughs> I feel like the fact that we took the Hugamal is the only thing I care about right now. Is this the rocket artillery, or is it just some other random artillery? They don't have much infantry here. It looks like it's the majority of these troops here facing us are artillery and cavalry, which is interesting. It seems like they pulled the vast majority of their infantry to the left. I need to get my horsemen up, though. That's going to be... These guys are going to be a little bit blown before they get there. I guess I should have worked them up a little bit more slowly. How many men did these guys lose? Let's move Dolmon's Cavalry Division up. This is all artillery, right? All right, we're going to support the attack a little bit on the other flank, if only to try and shift the enemy's artillery. Still got the middle guard back here. I've got a lot of troops off to my right flank. Oh, boy. The enemy infantry forming up, trying to give my troops rest. You can see their cohesion is increasing. But they are under artillery fire. Meanwhile, they are, they kind of, I feel like they'd be wearing their troops out, moving them quite a bit. But. These guys look to be in the open, in my opinion, so I'm going to charge them with Donup's Brigade of the 2nd Cursiers. Although I'm going to have to pass through a hedge, which is going to hurt our cohesion for our attack. Let's see if we can make it to their line. They're turning to face. They're still engaging. What is up with these troops? And apparently my troops are repulsed. does not look like we're charging through rough terrain, so they're continuing to stand up to my cavalry. Well, at least in this case, we routed them. Let's see if we can route this other battalion back here. All right, so we got routed, but we actually drove back two British battalions, so that's a good result. We routed one British battalion and we pushed another back. I'm fairly pleased with that result. All right, let's check on the attack in the center. I just don't know what to do. Like, there's so much enemy cavalry up here, but I can't just stay here. It's kind of you gotta you gotta go or you gotta stay. So I think we're gonna move our 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 infantry forward. We're also going to move our cavalry forward, and we're just going to start charging the enemy and engaging the enemy cavalry. Looks like most of our units are in pretty good cohesion. Not all of them, but some of them. 
We're just gonna fight a big cavalry battle battle up here. Probably charging from way too far away. Switch back up to normal speed. Again, it looks like they moved almost all of their infantry out. Alright, so we're engaging the enemy cavalry out here. Huge cavalry clash. This is like one of the things I literally have vivid memories of in my childhood is just the chargey, chargey. <laughs> All right, these guys are resting back here, the young guard. So I'm probably using up the majority of my cavalry on a handful of enemy cavalry regiments. But whatever they are, battalions, regiments. Who knows? I'm definitely not very good at using my cavalry. All right, so you've driven back a large number of cavalry. Now your infantry are all in squares. All right, so those enemy infantry will form square. They're not madmen. Meanwhile, our cavalry's starting to rally back here, so it looks like they're gonna be able to keep charging here soon. I just sent them into a suicide charge here. I'll pull into the charge of the light brigade right there. Although it looks like we did drive that enemy regiment or battalion, whatever it is, back. We'll advance this uh, brigade of infantry. We'll advance the brigade of infantry on their flank. Enemy infantry is coming up on our flank. Okay. So a new major battle here is forming up here. Meanwhile, we're engaging these enemy regiments here of Kemp's Brigade. Or division, maybe. He's a lieutenant general. He's probably more than a brigade commander. Here in the open fields. Where are they going? Royal House Guards, Cavalry. Alright, so he just... I'm not sure if he routed that same infantry or not, but we're going to send in a ton of cavalry here against the Royal Royal Horse Guards. Drove them back. Put it over here. The enemy... Our infantry is forming square, which is both good and bad. No, you're charging the wrong guy. All right, charge into the flank of the third carbiners. Shit, those men aren't in square. More cavalry. Uh, 
uh, kind of like Naze Cavalry Charge, except that I'm supporting it with infantry. Who are you, where are you running to? Get out of square, you nuts. Do you want to die? Alright, deploy here and go after the Kota Hogemol. Meanwhile, huge British forces here deployed an action here in front of uh, to the left of the Hugamon. They're just committing so many men. Even if they win this thing, this is... I mean, I guess I've spent a huge portion of my force here as well. Yes, form your square. Do it. Do it. Form your square, boys. Get shot to pieces. All karma, thanks for the follow. <laughs> That's a unit? They just instantly form into square? God, there's so many troops here. Meanwhile, in the center, it is still... Oh my God, what a clusterfuck. Form a line, boys. The enemy cavalry is out-generaling us at this point. Meanwhile, their artillery here over in Nivel. We've almost broken their line for what it's worth. I don't think I've got enough troops here behind this attack on the left. I'm a little bit hesitant to deploy the guard here, but I think I will. At least this brigade of the guard. We're gonna we're gonna try and do a bayonet charge here in a minute. So much enemy cavalry. They've really broken the center of our advance all of this cavalry, but I think we've exhausted a large amount of their cavalry as well. Their cavalry is bearing down on our flank. I need to send some horsemen that way. Break them! Do we have any more cavalry? God damn it. The left of my army is... <laughs> the left of the French army is either sucked into the Hougamont or gone. Your brigade's dead. How many men do we have, Napoleon? So Napoleon's lost about 8,000 men so far. I mean, I think we're doing pretty good in terms of casualties inflicted on the enemy, too. The enemy looks like they're trying to counterattack at the Hulamal. I'm going Marshal Ney. Everybody charge. I deployed too much of my cavalry to the left, I think. You should probably not charge me in these squares. Maybe go for this enemy horse over here. No! Don't charge the line battalion, you ass! I wish there was a click and drag, or a...
I wish I could like shift click and select multiple units. All right, hit the light dragoons in the flank. Where are you going? I'm going to charge into the rear because I think they're going for the infantry, but I can't keep up. I don't know where they're charging. squadrons of hussars going in at this enemy heavy cavalry which apparently we just keep missing oh nope now they're coming back god my left is gone i have no troops here the only saving grace is we took the hugamal i've got all right this cavalry is rallied i need to send them over here to prevent them from wrecking the guard. You can see the extent of my advance with my infantry brigade commanders that are all wrecked here. I wish my troops would automatically turn back into line formation when, uh, when the threat of cavalry was gone. That would be great. That's not what I wanted you to do. Why would you voluntarily charge infantry when enemy cavalry is right there? Let's go, boys! Hit them! They're much larger unit than ours, but... Maybe we'll wear him down with multiple charges. Ah, what am I doing? I think we did. I think we wore him down. Good job, boys. Now go for the Hugamo. Oh, shit. Never mind. Form square. Can you get to him before they can form? You can. Good job, boys. Way to wreck that regiment. You took a fair number of casualties yourself, but you did the job. I'm going to try and overwhelm this objective here quickly. The enemy's going to turn around and try and hit us again. We're going to we'll form square in a second. Oh, wait. God damn it, they drove back that. They didn't actually route him, though. This, this battle just gets very unwieldy. Alright, a lot of British cavalry. They have so many cavalry. Do they have way more than me? I'm not sure. It feels like it. Granted, I think I've got a bunch on the right I'm just not using. Yeah, I've got some on the right anyway that I'm not using. I'm not going to send the guard yet. I've already sent the guard. The young guard's already engaged. Hey, we're approaching the uh, the objective here. They've only got a lone battalion here. 
Meanwhile, they're definitely pushing us back strong here on the left. There's no objective here, though, which I think is the saving grace, is they don't really have anywhere to attack to direct their, their focus. Look at all these dead bodies. Meanwhile, they are trying to gang up here at the Hugamon, but we've got four regiments in very strong defensive positions. That should be a very difficult task for them. Should eat up a bunch of their casualties. Thank you for the bits, M-K-E-N-D. Or <laughs> full charge, send the, send the guard. You're just going to give me a bunch of bits until I send the guard in? I don't want to lose the battle yet, man. Oh, where are you going? I didn't tell you to go over there. Jeez, dude, thanks. The battle's not gonna- I wasn't gonna fight it all tonight for what it's worth, I was gonna continue it. Is this the Duke right here? Why don't you guys rest up a little bit? I really should just focus on one front. I don't have the, the mental ability here to fight multiple multiple sections of the battle at once. Jeez, dude. Thank you again. What do I think of the prices? Uh, Constantinus, I was one of the developers on Scourge of War Waterloo, so uh, I think it's priced fine. Um... I played a very small ro role in the game. I did Q&A and stuff. Oh, Gettysburg? I'm not even sure what the price is on that right now, to be honest. The problem if I send the guard right now is I don't have... Is there any way... Napoleon to order and attack. Fine, MK M Caden, thanks for the bits. If you wish. I don't even think I can issue a core level attack order. Doesn't even seem to be something I can do. I don't have the infantry to support this attack. They're going to need to rest once they get up that way. The enemy doesn't actually have that much cavalry around here. So we might be able to take these two objectives on the ridge. Meanwhile, they are, based on what I'm seeing here, they are going to slowly push me out of the Hugamal. My cavalry is just sitting here taking enemy fire. Why they're not... Uh... I mean, the enemy infantry is forced into squares by the looks of it over there. I just don't have any infantry to hit their squares. Form square. We should be shooting at these guys. They're in square. If I hadn't gotten all my artillery wrecked, I could bring them up. Are these Brunswickers over here? Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Oh, man. I meant to tell them to halt. Jeez, dude, a thousand bits? Thanks. Greatly appreciated. Um, I am sending the guard. They're over here on the right. They're getting into position. Fear not. Um, 
I wasn't really all that involved in Gettysburg, so I don't think I'd get in trouble, but... I mean, I will say this, though. I play a shit ton of War in the Pacific, which is a 10-year-old game and is $80, and I personally think it's worth every dollar. I know every game is worth um, a little bit different to every different player, right? So, like, what's what something's worth to me may not be something that's worth something to someone else. You guys need to stop being in square. There's one battalion of enemy cavalry up there. Bring this cavalry over. I think... Let's rally, let's have Napoleon rally the army back this way. Alright, so we're bringing up some of the artillery over there. Meanwhile, the British have taken back the first fort in the Hougamal. I'm charging to try and force them into square, but it doesn't look like they want to go. It looks like when they have enough infantry at their back, they don't want to form square. Or maybe because they're in that ridge line, it's defensive territory. I'm not sure which. Where are you charging off to? Not exactly where I wanted you to, but you're forming them into square, and that's your job, so do that. Now these guys can hit them real hard and hopefully rout them. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of bits, guys. Thank you very much. M-K-E-D-E-N. I didn't even see how many. I can just see there's like a never-ending stream of 100 bits, so definitely appreciate it. Keep moving up on the, on the right. Alright, you're avoiding that square. You're going for the... Ah! They ran! You got him! Charging into defensive territory, which will probably hurt your charge considerably. Alright, so I think we broke their advance to the left of the Hugamon with just a couple of squadrons of cavalry. Oh my god, that's a lot of dead bodies! Look at that! So we're at least holding up the advance in, at the Hugamon now. We, they do have the one unit here in that right fort there. All right, so we broke that whole left portion of their, their attack. Still fighting troops off to the left. Meanwhile, where's the guard? Guard is still coming up here. A lone enemy unit here is messing with us. A lone enemy infantry unit is getting my entire center attack here crushed, or cavalry unit, sorry. Did I get all my horsemen killed? Like, is there no one left in the center here? You are going to advance. I need some frickin' horsemen to support them. There's one squadron of cavalry here. Looks like there's one more up here. Oh my goodness, dude. Thank you very much. I thought I... Didn't I? Okay, so got a little bit of cavalry. Our artillery routed him. Good. 
That's why you bring that artillery battery forward, as it can just play havoc on enemy art cavalry. Meanwhile, the young guard is moving forward. The, the old guard is moving into position, but they're tired. They're going to need a little bit of a break before we can send them in. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what to say, dude. Thank you so much. All right. Um, why can't you guys charge? Meanwhile, on the left, it looks like they're sending a bunch of cavalry down. I used my cavalry to break them. They're using their cavalry here to counterattack to the left. My cavalry has been absolutely chewed to pieces this entire battle. Oh shit. The Prussians! There's Prussians here! Prussians in the woods! Alright, so we've got Prussian cavalry over here and some artillery shown up. Not much, but the Prussians have arrived. We have put a blocking force here on the right. Advancing, young guard. This artillery that we brought up is helping. Bring more up. of the old guard. Again, they're going to need a little bit of a break as they come up. Artillery, keep focusing on that enemy cavalry. Get out of square. Focus on this unit, Artie. I need you to, need you to pound these guys. They are. Guard, the middle guard is forming up. The young guard's going to continue to push. Someone's routed. I don't even know who. I can't even keep any of this straight anymore. guard. It looked like these guys are rested, so let's bring them forward. The old guard is rested, so let's move them forward. Napoleon, move forward with your men! Napoleon's gonna go to the front of the line, and yes, generals can die for what it's worth. guys are going for the saint. Get another abatis up there. Alright, so it looks like a lot of these troops that are in this area might actually be rallying troops and not formed up. Keep pushing forward, men. Keep pushing forward. God, they're eating a lot of artillery. Meanwhile, we're still holding the Hukgamaw on the other flank.
A lot of our cavalry's rallied. I think our infantry, some of it's rallied anyway. They're just fighting till they all die on that flank. Oh, I ordered him to charge and they instantly routed. That didn't work out. You're going for Mount St. John. You're going to expose your rear doing it. But I need you to press forward. Press forward, my lads. Deploying the line. Alright, there's a lot of cavalry over here, though. That's going to be a problem. Can Napoleon die? Yes, Napoleon can definitely die. Where is Napoleon, anyway? He's in the middle of his troops! Someone just ran into cavalry and got driven back. Mount St. John, it's yours! I can feel it! Advance, my boys! Break them! Keep pushing forward, my lads. Alright, you're gonna pivot right. Take the damn... My, like, 20 men are charging a huge regiment up there. You're so slow! Alright, the enemy cavalry is coming down. They've got like three battalions of it. Oh, fuck. Alright. Keep advancing, boys. The Emperor is counting on you. The old guard is over here. France. Where are you going? Why do you charge not the closest unit? Ascending Phoenix, thanks for the follow. Oh my god, 5,000 bits. M. Caden, thank you. You just... I mean, I don't, I don't want to complain that you're giving me so much money, but like, should you be... Should you be throwing this amount of money in Twitch? Oh shit, the old guard's in square. The middle guard is in square. Oh good, we've got the gods back. Somehow they retreated all the way over here. Go after the light dragoons, gods. You got them. Oh shit, a whole bunch of more enemy cavalry is coming in from the flank. How much cavalry do the, the allied powers have? More and more Prussians are showing up, by the way, guys. Prussian infantry is coming onto the field here on the flank. Troops are all stuck in square because there's too many freaking enemy horse. Come up, Drew. Bring your men forward. I'm 
You know, how's the Hoogamon going? We're actually pushing okay near the Nivelle, or however you pronounce that. I'm not hitting that button, am I? Keep zooming in randomly. Honestly, guys, you should be perfectly okay taking those casualties. Hey, we're approaching the Hoogamal, or whatever the name of this objective is. I think we just wiped out that enemy cavalry unit. They charged her squares and they didn't have many left. Good job, old guard! I think that was an old guard unit. Yeah. First battalion. First chasseurs. Now they're fighting a militia battalion? A militia battalion versus the old guard? Good luck, boys. Napoleon is with you, my lads. Oh shit. Middle guard getting gonna get wrecked. Alright, I want you guys to advance and I'm gonna charge these guys. Good old column formation charge. Come on, boys. Form into column. Get me close enough so I can charge. Oh, no, they took... Oh, they took this objective over here, where our guard has decided to go back into square formation indefinitely. I don't think they're going to form in time. It's going to be close. Got him! Charge the next battalion. They're in column formation. Get him! 47 cavalrymen charge into the head of a column. We just wrecked a brigade of Brunswickers that were coming up here with that cavalry. Two battalions just got wrecked. I wanted you to charge. Not form square? What are you even forming square from over here? I don't even see any cavalry. There's like 20 horsemen here. Oh, I'm gonna have infantry charge cavalry. That's rich. Do it! Middle guard, you got this thing! Oh. <laughs> well, those guys just got wrecked. But I think this regiment's gonna, or battalion's gonna be gone. The Prussians have flanked our troops in these woods here. just too much guys it's a it's above my level of competence gets routed by the prussians i mean i don't think so i think i've expended my energy 
I still have a bunch of troops I haven't deployed, but I need them for the Prussians. But I'm I'm not even breaking through here. I I don't know. Maybe I should have. You know what'd be interesting is the morning scenario where you get two extra hours and everything basically comes in on the left, so you can just cram it all in here and try and swing up the road. That might be a worthwhile strategy. I'm curious what the casualty numbers are. I think I was probably ahead up until the the foolishness that I just un unleashed. General Blue is killed! They're going to form square, so you're going to fire into them and maybe rout them before the cavalry even gets there. Give me knight or give me the Prussians indeed. Oh no, another general was killed. I don't know who, but someone. Uh, this, in Scourge of War, no, Scourge of War is not persistent. Some scenarios do have carryover casualties, so they might, it might influence it to a certain degree, but probably not the way you're thinking. Like, battalions can carry casualties over in certain, from certain scenarios, but it's not, I don't think it's what you're thinking. don't have any cavalry here. My entire line, by the way, here has been routed. We've still got some guard fighting, but the, the old guard, I didn't quite, I don't think I caught all of it, but you can see the old guard is up here. I think this is the old guard. Yeah, these guys are just getting wrecked in front of this position. So that's great. The enemy is using their cavalry far more effectively than I am. I needed to bring more artillery forward with me, I think, if I was to do it again. I think I should have stuck to focusing on the left. I think that morning scenario is really interesting. Because again, it let, basically the morning scenario sets the entire French army up on this roadway all along here and then everything back in and around here. So you can really just swing everything up and over if you, if you really focus on it. And the way this game works and the difficulty of maintaining multiple attacks across multiple fields, I think that's your best approach. Another brigade of Prussians is here. If I, if I intentionally lose, I mean, I think I've already lost. Where's Napoleon? I'll, I'll send Napoleon to his death. Napoleon! Bring your men with you! Come with me, lads! Come with me! <laughs> Straighten the enemy lines! Would you shoot an emperor? Here he goes! He's not getting shot at yet. We're not shooting at him yet. I don't know what their calculations are, but I'm pretty sure Napoleon's gonna run right through their line. That's interesting. Go over here, Napoleon. Maybe you can't die, only certain generals can. I want to charge into the La Haye Saint. I know you can. I love too much artillery back. At least you used to be able to charge into... Uh, 
in the Hugamal. Whoops. They're charging into the, my flank of my units. I'm not even adjusting them to deal with the Prussians. I probably need to pause a lot more than I am, too. We're going to take the, the, the Saint. Could I fall back and consolidate? Maybe. Last time I've consumed McDonald's. Um, it's been a while. I don't know. Charge into the fort, lads! 449 infantrymen forward! All their cavalry is swinging left. What? The enemy's morale was low. You're telling me they couldn't take it? Where's Napoleon anyway? Did I get him killed? Did I miss it? I have no idea how long it's been since the last time I've had McDonald's. Maybe two months. Alright guys. This has been a lot of fun. I think we're going to just concede the battle at this point. We're already halfway through. We did really good on the left. The center we did disastrously. And the Prussians are on our flank, and I have no desire to try and fight them right now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the battle. We'll finish it here. You can see here that the Allies win a marginal victory for the Allies. At this point, anyway. The French hadn't been routed yet. Um, if we take a look at the details, I think it is, we can see the French suffered 11,712 infantry casualties, 6,600 cavalry casualties, 197 artillery, and 6 leaders. No artillery or troops surrendered. Uh, we did have one unit here, an infantry battalion, inflicted 447 casualties. One cavalry unit inflicted 718. And then an artillery battery inflicted 475. Our highest ranking casualty was General Bru, the 2nd Infantry Brigade, Drouot's division. Our units that sustained the most casualties is the 1st Carbiners. They started with 434 men. They ended with 18, 96% casualties. The Anglo-Allied Army, and I think this is definitely true, before that attack in the center, I must have been crushing them. Because despite that disaster that we suffered in the center, they suffered just slightly fewer infantry casualties, 10,489, 6,100 cavalry casualties. So despite the fact that it felt like they were never out of cavalry, we actually uh, we only lost about 500 more horsemen than them. Their artillery suffered a little bit worse. Um, they lost 214. They only had one leader casualty to R6. Uh, they didn't have any troops surrendered. They didn't have any artillery captured. Uh, they had a battalion that inflicted 772 casualties. That's better than ours. Their cavalry regiment, the 3rd Hussars, about the same. Artillery, they had a better one. Best Brigade, a McDonald's, Hugomon's Garrison, 1,229 casualties inflicted, although we did wreck him. Uh, highest ranking casualty, Major General Sir John Bing, 2nd British Infantry Brigade of Cook's Division. He was only wounded, not killed. And uh, the unit that suffered the most casualties of them, nine, only 66% casualties. So their units, their units fared a little bit better. Um, with that being said, guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap this up. I do appreciate you tuning in for yet another stream and another episode. Hopefully we'll have War in the Pacific back tomorrow. But until next time, guys, this is the Historical Gamer once again saying thank you for watching. And M. Kenden, thank you very much for the huge number of bits. That is greatly appreciated. All right, guys, I'm out. And until next time. I don't know. Good night. Godspeed. Drink some scotch. Whatever. <laughs>